Hi everyone, I am Rishabh from Excel Next Training Solutions. Today we will be talking about the applications of one of the features of Excel called Text to Columns. At the very basic level, let me take an example. In column A, on my left hand side of the worksheet, I have surname and name all in a single cell. Now it's divided with a comma. If you notice all the names, the key differentiating factors between the surname and the name is the comma. Now text to columns asks me to point that delimiter which divides the data and if I choose that comma it will divide the data. Let me show you how it works. Let me select the first name Using the shortcut key shift control down arrow key, I am able to select all of the names. Let me access data tab. Therein, let me access text to columns. Now what I see in front of me is a dialog box which says step 1 of 3 of the text to column wizard. The first option, delimited tells me that any such common characters such as commas, tabs, dot, space which I can use as a common delimiter to divide the data into different column sets. Let me choose next. Now this is where let me tell text to column that what is that common divider point. If I choose comma, if you notice in the preview window the entire data gets cut into two different columns. If I choose space as well, you will notice even the middle name is getting cut into third column. So for this current scenario, let me just choose comma only. Let me proceed with next. Now what I see is the destination is A4, which is the cell that's currently blinking. If I do not change the destination, the new data after splitting into two columns will be starting from column A which means it will replace the existing data. Let me delete the default destination and make sure it is an empty set of cell from where the data output should begin. Let me press finish. Mm -hmm. I have the surname and name split into two different columns as I wanted. This was example 1 where I was using a common delimiter. Let me take one more example which is there in the sheet text to column 2. Now what I have in front of me is excerpts from a fixed asset register from an old version of an ERP. The problem is the fixed asset account number, item code number, item number check and the corresponding description is all given in a single cell. Now my objective is to get them across into four different columns appropriately. Now only thing that I see common here is space. Let me try and employ the similar strategy. Let me select the first line item Pressing the shortcut key shift control down, let me choose the entire set of data. Let us go to data tab and access the feature text to column once again. Now let me revert to the original scenario that's delimited and let's see what happens. If I press on the next button and if I choose space because that is the only common thing that I can see right away. If I choose space, you would notice therein that all the data cut into different columns but the problem is the description all are scattered now. I do not want this into four different columns. I want them into one single column. So let me go back and let's see what was the other option in step one of three. If I have fixed width, what is fixed width? Now suppose you have a data where the data appears such that you can draw straight lines in between them. You may want to try out fixed width. Let's see what happens. 
Now here in the options comma space do not appear. What appear is a set of lines which you can easily double click on them to remove it. Single click to bring it back. These imply four different columns of data. Let me press next. Just like the last time let me also change the destination because if I keep the default destination cell it will replace my old data. Let me choose the revised cell that's B5 in this case. Let me press finish. Now right now what I see is everything looks fine except the item number check which has the double digits 0 as a prefix. Now when I transfer that using text to column in separate columns the 0 disappear. Now let's see what is that one technique that I must employ within text to column to retain those zeros because this could be very important from the standpoint of uh, data checking wherein you would not want to lose any prefix or any zeros. Let me press Ctrl Z keeping the data chosen let me go to text to columns fix with chosen next four columns that's how I want my output to look like let me go to next now herein lies the trick what I see is heading to be general general format of the output let me choose the third column it blackens out instantly thereafter let me choose the text option instantly the heading of the column becomes as text format now after changing the destination let's see what the output looks like so with a small trick I was able to retain those zeros as well now quite often if you're working with data dumps from SAP Oracle which may have project code starting with zero or check number starting with zero maybe bank account number or credit card number starting with zero I would want to retain those zeros as well so there you go this is the trick to retain the zeros let's see what other applications text to column has let me go to the next sheet let me take four cases one by one case one sometimes when you get the data dumps from various databases the minus sign may be appearing at the end. Now, unless you bring these minus sign as prefix, you will not be able to total up those numbers. Now, let's see how to bring this minus sign as prefix for all the numbers. If I choose my set of data, I go to text to columns, I select next. I make sure I check off all the items and I simply press finish. Done. Let me take case 2. Sometimes when a data is downloaded from various ERP and databases, the number may be stored as text. Now the problem is if that happens and you try to use a sum formula or any such formula and let's say if you're trying to calculate the total of two numbers let's see what the output looks like it gives me zero it's not able to pick those numbers as numbers hence you get zero so how do I convert them into actual numbers quickly same strategy let me choose the data let me go to text to column let me go to next step after choosing delimited making sure all the checkboxes turned off and simply pressing finish. Instantly the correct answer popping in that is 75,574. Let's take another case, case 3. Sometimes the dates, for example in case anybody would have used JD Edwards ERP, the dates would appear in this fashion. Now I'll not be able to calculate or prepare any reports based on these dates unless I convert them into a date format. Now quick way to convert them into dates is go to text to column same option delimited choose next and simply pressing finish making sure all the check boxes are turned off problem solved. Let's take another case. 
Sometimes the date may not have the correct delimiter because of which none of them are classified as dates in Excel. So with all the dots appearing, how do I make sure these dates which are appearing in date month year format, which is unacceptable to Excel, how do I convert them into MDY format? That is, for example, this 2811 signifying 28th November, it will not be calculated as any proper date unless I make sure 11 comes before 28 and towards the end the year 2008. Same strategy as we followed for case 1, 2 and 3. Let me choose the date. Let me go to text to column. But there's one slight twist in this case 4. Let's find what that is. Let me go to next. Let me go to step 3 of 3 next. Now consider them to be my mistake. And whatever mistake, if I want to rectify that, let's say my mistake being DMY. My mistake, let me choose that mistake. The moment I ask Excel to rectify my mistake from DMY to the correct form MDY and finish, what you see in front of you is the right set of dates. So those were the quick tips and tricks on text to column. Hope you are able to apply some of them in real life. Thank you.